Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, and we got Jeremy Ford over here, Mr. Mountain Dew, and we are going to do a, an eggnog review. Jeremy found this today. Um, I looked in the same place. It must have been under my nose. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. He found it, and uh, this is called the International Delight Nog. Um, International Delight, they make creamers for coffee, coffee creamers. Um, I've actually bought some of them before. They're they're decent little creamers. Um, the, uh, I know they make the liquid, and and I don't know if they, but I don't know for sure if they know if they make the powder part. If they make, you know, the powder. I don't know. Anyway, I didn't know they made eggnog either. Um, this is a classic. It says, uh, pour on the holiday cheer. Deliciously drinkable, never too rich, with a hint of sweet nutmeg flavor and notes of light rum. Huh. That'd be different. <clears throat> Product does not contain alcohol, though. It does say that, because, you know, light rum, you know, people are going to be wondering, um, it's got alcohol in it. It's uh, gluten-free. It says, <clears throat> um... The real deal. Our delicious holiday nog is made with real milk, so it's perfectly creamy and just rich enough to make every sip a special occasion. Our, our, our gourmet taste guarantee. We bet you'll be delighted. If not, we'll give you, we'll give your money back. All right, there's a phone number um, for it, you know. Um, ingredients is skim milk. Cane sugar, that's kind of different. Uh, water, corn syrup, contains 2% or less of cream, whey, cornstarch, guar gum, salt, carnagenin, natural and artificial flavors. It contains milk produced in a facility that processes tree nuts and soy. Distributed by White Wave Foods, Broomfield, Colorado. Oh, I'll be known. Crap, I, 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 probably, I probably lived... Well, I lived in Broomfield for a little while with my brother. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's probably 10, 15 miles away from where I lived when I lived in Colorado. That's kind of wild. We'd be delighted to hear from you. Naturally and artificially flavored festive dairy beverage. 120 calories. It's just a lot, a lot to read on here. Almost three minutes of information. All right, we started doing eggnog reviews, and I always mention this. Uh, Edgar Rios, um, he was the one that come up with this. He's one of my subscribers, come up with the idea of doing these. And Jeremy and I thought it was an awesome idea because we l really like eggnog a lot. So it wasn't hard to convince us. Um, so let's see. Um, Brahms is in the lead. And in second place is Oak Farms. So let's see where this one lands. Whoa, it looks white, hmm. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Huh, that's uh, kind of weird. Okay, that's kind of strange. Hmm. Well, we got a white appearance, maybe slight vanilla kind of appearance. Um, the um, density is a little bit liquidy. Mm -hmm. I think it might be the milk they have in here. Yeah. It's showing, showing cinnamon. It's showing... <clears throat> that's probably nutmeg right there. Mm -hmm. Showing nutmeg. Um, I don't see any particles in there. I don't see any particles in here either. Let's get some aroma. I'm getting the vanilla. I'm getting some cinnamon. Maybe light nutmeg. Kind of a milky, kind of yogurty, kind of aroma. Mm -hmm. 
The vanilla is really strong. Mm-hmm. Vanilla standing out. I'm getting a little bit of a like a like a rum kind of aroma. Just a little bit. I don't know. I'm kind of taken back on this yeah. one. It does have that skim milk kind of appearance. Mm -hmm. It's not frothy, you know, nothing. I don't know. Okay, well, let's see where it, where it lands. I'm getting the vanilla. getting a very light well, I said light rum I'm getting a very very light rum taste however they did that I don't know mm. I'm getting the milky kind of a sweet milk kind of taste I'm getting the cinnamon very lightly I'm getting the nutmeg very lightly <clears throat> yeah. it's it's thin I mean, it tastes, it tastes good, mm -hmm. but it's not what really, what you look for in eggnog, you know. Yeah. Something else, I think. It's missing a lot of attributes. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, you know, when you tip it, it should still be in the bottom, but mm -hmm. it, it clears, it clears away from the bottom really quick. It's good, and we're gonna drink it, but it's uh, it's it's rated down there with fourth and fifth place, somewhere around there. Yeah. Southern Comfort is probably close to third, if not third place. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, oh, if you see this, how much was this, Jeremy? <clears throat> Remember? You know, if you want to try it, you know, you can try it. I didn't see this. International Delight Party Recipe. Pour some delicious, creamy nog. Add a splash of rum. Top with a sprinkle of grated nutmeg and a cinnamon stick. Enjoy responsibly. Well, maybe actually liquor would make this taste even better. This one. Maybe that's what it was meant for. No, maybe. No. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to end it there. We're already over eight minutes. It's just, <laughs> we were just trying to get out of it everything we could. Um, but, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Um, thanks to all my subscribers. Uh, let me know if you've tried it. If you liked it. Um, okay. Thanks for watching. Give some comments. Have a good rest of your week. Bye.